It's about a uh, Hebridean island girl. She's gone to the mainland, got a job, got engaged to a guy in a band who's treated her very badly, and she's given up on life and love and gone back to the island she came from, even though she knows that you know, there's no real job opportunities there for her. And um, the last single guy on the island is just getting married as she returns. Unbeknownst to her, there's an English novelist who's written a book set on this island without ever having been there. And he's engaged to the most beautiful film star on earth, Alice Eve. And um, to escape from the paparazzi, they decide to have a very remote wedding and they go to this island, pretending it's a marketing conference. Um, paparazzi do find them, um, the movie star goes missing, uh, Kelly's used as a decoy and um, together they try and find Alice, but the closer they get to her, the less they want to get there. Did you sign the register? You saw me, why? Thinking on the bus I may have signed my own name. <laughs> it's not, you know, some beautiful, you know, fairy tale island, but of course as the story moves on and I wanted the weather as they fall in love and I just wanted the weather to get more and more lovely so that, because it was almost like reflecting the inside of what Katie is going through so that when she's unhappy and sad about love, the island is sort of grey and dark and then as she falls in love and her heart opens up, then you have the, the golden sunlight. I've worked with David Tennant twice before. I knew he's just the most amazing actor and just has an extraordinary comic ability. Kelly I'd never worked with before, um, but uh, the, uh, the writers always had her in mind. And when I met her, and I did think, oh, she's never done comedy, and I was worried about that. But when I met her, she so, was so delightful and charming and fun, and she completely loved the script and loves romantic comedy as a genre as well. So she was perfect, and she blew me away when she first, as soon as she read, read it out loud at the read-through, I just thought, oh, it's, it's going to be perfect.